for a venue that would provide small distillers with the best access to potential distributors and buyers within the European market, uh, particularly Eastern Europe. And as many people know, Germany is very much a tastemaker for countries to the east and of them, what we call an opinion leader. So uh, we thought we would give it a try. It turns out, according to our distillers, this is the right place. They've had lots of interest in their, their brands. Uh, that's one of the things that's occurring in the U.S. market. You have the great traditional products like Jack Daniels and uh, Woodford Reserve and uh, Wild Turkey and Jim Beam, but you're also seeing a profusion of new uh, whiskies as the, mod um, the market has liberalized uh, 80 years after the repeal of Prohibition. So many laws are beginning to change and you have seen an explosive number of new distillers. Small. Now they're not all good, but most of these products are really kind of interesting and they're sort of outside the, uh, the normal uh, 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 mindset of some brands. So for example, here's a California brandy. Uh, it's as good as anything you taste in cognac. And uh, it's made by a, a particle physicist at the, from the University of California who actually went to France 30 years ago and studied the methods. But they, he can use grapes like Pinot Noir that they can't use in cognac. And then you have other brands where they're doing interesting things. So rye whiskey is beginning to make a huge comeback in the US market. So these folks, many of them are bartenders and mixologists. So they're very interested in rye whiskey because it, it tends to hold up because it's a little bit spicier. You can mix it with more sweet flavors and not lose the character of the whiskey. Now that's not to say traditional bourbons aren't great mixed in a Manhattan or a old fashioned. Classic cocktails, by the way, are making a big comeback in the US and around the globe uh, in, in all of the major markets. So it, uh, it's exciting to be here. It was a good opportunity. Um, and we're, I think we're very happy with the results. Here's a, an American gin, there's some vodkas. Um, uh, 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 this is interesting, this is a white whiskey from Virginia. Mosby was actually a Confederate general. So this is just outside of Washington, Washington D.C. Uh, so white whiskey is, is finding favor, sort of the moonshine uh, notion. Uh, that used to be illegal is now legal as long as you pay your taxes. But you still have the great whiskeys. Here's kind of organic. Organic is very, very popular, particularly in the EU. We have a number of producers here who are doing organic products, and they have found a lot of favor uh, with uh, distributors and the bar uh, professionals that are at this event. So we're happy.